I'm starting to think this guy's teamed up with V-Shreds, despite the fact that he has all this science degree, I think he's using his intelligence towards fooling you into following this plan. Coach Craig, and today I'm going to be highlighting a CrossFitter. I've been asked so many times, are CrossFitters really natty? What do you think? And so on. So today we're going to go over Ryan Fisher. Okay, he has about 20,000 followers on YouTube and about just under 200,000 on Instagram, fairly popular. He was a superstar in the early, say, 2010s, like 2011, 12, 13, really good at CrossFit and was jacked. He's 5'5", 175 pounds, okay, not a big, tall guy, short, kind of like me, a lot of muscle. And I did a lot of research on this guy and he promotes fitness and health and it's awesome. The dude, I should be in a bike race against this guy. He's got so many pictures. He's racing bicycles. He's doing triathlons. He can swim, run, bike. He's like Mr. Fitness. He's also an educated guy. He's got kinesiology degree. He's got nutrition degrees. Smart, knows what he's doing. Very good businessman, okay? But is he natty? Of course he's not natty. Of course he's not natty. You think he was natty? He's natty now, yeah. But back in the day when he was a superstar, he's not natty. Let's look at some of his best lifts at 5'5", 175 pounds, his biggest. Squat 515, clean and jerk 315 pounds. Okay, it's a good bench press for most people. Snatch, that's over your head in one lift. 285 pounds. Deadlift, 585. That's six plates, okay? All while running and swimming and biking and being Mr. Fitness and doing muscle ups and chin ups and push ups and handstands and cartwheels and every single other thing you do. You're not doing all these things and being the best at cardio and weights and strength and everything all at the same time while you're natural. He's even setting world records in 105 degree heat in CrossFit championships. He literally set a world record back, I forget what year, okay? You don't do world records. You have the best in the world at something natural against people who are not natural. Nowadays, CrossFit is more often tested. You think he was tested back then? Do you think he's competing at the same level? Look at his old photos, 2011, 2012, 2013. Compare that Jack 5'5 five five dude back then to how he looks now. He's 33 now. Should he have been at his genetic limit at 25? Is he on the down slope? Look at Michael O'Hearn, he's getting better at 50. Why was he peaked out at 25? Why is he no longer competing? Why is his rank in CrossFit gone from being amazing to not good? He's not really competing anymore, but why do you think? He's making a lot of money as a businessman promoting health and fitness, which is great. He's not gonna come out and say, guess what? I use such and such, it's stupid to do that. So I don't blame him, I'm not mad, I'm not calling him a fake natty, I'm just saying he wasn't natural when he competed back then, but I do think, in fact, that he is natural now. I do think he's natural now, okay? He hurt his arm, he was doing muscle ups, you know what I mean, with the friggin' pole, like gymnast, and tore his bicep. And then you know what he did? He got surgery to fix it up, of course, that makes sense. Now, during that nine weeks, you're probably thinking, oh, he's a Superman. He probably kept training legs. Nope. He showed his picture before getting surgery. He's all ripped and looking amazing. And then after nine weeks later, he's looking pretty good, to be honest. But he said he's lost seven or eight pounds of muscle. But in that post, he doesn't say that. He says, number one, you're not losing muscle every day you take off like we all think. Okay, well that's yes and no. No, not right away. But if you take nine weeks off the gym and do nothing, not even cardio, you're gonna lose muscle every day. It's just gonna happen, not the first day. But yeah, every day you're losing muscle. What do you think's gonna happen if you train your whole life and you take nine weeks off and do nothing, not even cardio, you're going to lose muscle. And he did. 
Now, the thing with this guy that makes him look more enhanced is his abs are so phenomenal. And it's not from doing sit-ups, it's genetics. And he's really, really lean. And so his ab insertions and whatnot, they just look sculpted. So even now, now that he's not enhanced, his abs still look great. And when you have the absence of body fat and your abs can pop through, you're gonna get that illusion of freakiness, okay? But abs are just genetic. And so you just wipe the fat off, you see the abs, and it makes you look more freaky. If you look at his arms now, his arms are small. I mean, he tore his bicep, but he's got the other arm. I had surgery on my arms two years ago. It's they're still there. This muscle was attached. I had no tricep. It was hanging off of here. The bone was up here. They had to take it off and sew it back in here. Okay. I lost a bit of size in my arms. Of course you're going to, but it comes back. So then you think, oh, well, I'm going to follow this guy because look at his abs. I want abs like that. I'm going to follow his plan. So then you scroll through and then what do you see? The 30 day challenge. You guys have all seen these challenges. You do his thing, you follow it, you post the before and after photos, and shazam, you're amazing. And if you show a really good picture, the before and after, really good transformation, you win a thousand dollars on top of it. So let's all join in. I love how all these people have these new transformational diets and you just have to follow it and it breaks all rules. He even has two kinds of 30 day challenges, not just one, so you can pick the way to break the law of thermodynamics of your choice. You get to choose which laws of physics you get to break to get your dream body. So option one, carb cycling lifestyle. Option two, keto cycling lifestyle. Okay, so you pick which one you want. This is what you get for $99. For only $99, you get Carb Cycling Guide, three different carb cycling forms, perfect for beginners, Paleo Recipe Book, 30 days access to chat, 30 days access to chalk online, bonus 30 day workout ebook of your choice, community support, unlimited email support, unlimited email support. You can write them every single day, 10 times a day for a month. Community support, live Q and A sessions, supplement recommendations, macro cheat sheet, recommended grocery list, sample meal plans, macro calculators, and you can win cash prizes, a thousand dollars to win. And that's just on one of them. And guess what? He says, and I'm not making this up, that 10,000 people in one year took part of this, which worked out to 27 to 28 people per day. Okay, Coach Greg, has about 50 clients. He has 10,000. I work 100 hours a week. So 27 to 28 people per day, he has to help with unlimited support. It works out to about 1,000 a month because these are one month programs. So 1,000 clients at a time he has and he's giving them unlimited support, 1,000 people. Let's say only 10% need help. The other 90% they are just good. He only has 100 people a day to message. Oh yeah, you do this with this. I don't believe it. And at $99 at 10 times, quick math, that's a million dollars. You telling me this guy makes a million dollars from coaching? So I look at his Instagram. I'm thinking, okay, well, he's got a 10,000 clients a year. Let's see how the uh, interaction, he's got more followers than me on Instagram. Let's see how many people are commenting. Okay, well, let's see the first winner of this challenge before and after, 48 comments. Well, it seems to me if 10,000 people took place in a challenge, more than 48 people would be commenting on the winner who won $1,000 for this epic transformation. And then I look at the next guy, 34 commented on the next winner because there's three winners. And the last winner, 165 and you know why because he's not natty zero percent chance that this guy was natty. and is it really she doesn't say you can't do something but you showed a picture you pick your three best guys out of ten thousand, and you say look see what you can do if you hire me and then ten thousand people fall for it and then they hire you and you make a million dollars and this happens everywhere 
His plan may or may not be good. I haven't followed it, but I know the laws of thermodynamics don't get to be broken just because you are a CrossFitter. Last I checked, CrossFitters have the same rules as bodybuilders, powerlifters, cyclists, and so on. You need to eat in a calorie deficit. Doesn't matter if you're cutting carbs out one day and eating them the next, keto one day, carb cycle the next, keto in the morning, carbs in the afternoon, and just do the butterfly and swim and burn off the cow. I don't know what he's doing. It doesn't make sense. Come on, people. Why are we falling for these things? I mean, do you really think you're going to get all this access and all this help if he's helping 10,000 people a year? 10,000 people. Come on now. So he describes his challenge as a earn your carbs. I don't like the sound of that. Like earn your carbs. Why isn't it earn your protein or earn your fat? Why do you have to earn carbs? Carbs, fats, protein all have calories. Macros, it's all BS, you guys. Stop listening to all these people that's trying to make it look like if you just split out your macros a certain way, hocus pocus, hoof poof, then you can just magically lose weight. It doesn't work like that. So here's this video. Let's see what happens here. There's nothing worse than working hard and not seeing results. The biggest reason why people don't see results is because they're eating incorrectly. Why doesn't he just specifically say the reason for that is because you're eating too much food. You need to put the fork down. Down. Eat less calories than you burn. If you're in a deficit, you lose weight. It doesn't matter how hard you work if you eat too many calories. It doesn't matter what kind of macros you have. You need to still be in a deficit. There's no breaking laws of physics here. If you follow my program, I guarantee it will be the easiest, most effective and sustainable program you've ever done in your life. I promise you. I hope he has a money back guarantee because mine is that plan. My plan is way better than your plan. You really think his little carb cycling, earn your carbs is better than my plan? A 0% chance of this. I'm starting to think this guy's teamed up with V Shreds despite the fact that he has all this science degree and he knows things and he's a smart guy. I think he's using his intelligence towards fooling you into following this plan. So he's got a title that says, what does it mean to earn your carbs? Earning your carb means we're gonna strategically pre-plan meals and protein, carbs and fat according to your activity in your day. And it involves carb cycling strategies. But it's not just carb cycling. We get more precise with exactly what and when we are eat throughout the day. As if he's gonna be able to write you a quick little program that he's copy paste print. You're just not getting no custom plan for $99, 10,000 of you. You're gonna say, oh, I'm doing this activity. Oh yeah, I watched YouTube videos and it says how many calories you burn. It'll say swimming burns this much, biking burns this much, weightlifting burns, all completely wrong. So how are you pre-planning what you eat based on the activity? You don't, you don't know. You might go to the gym and think you burnt 600 calories and you burnt 160. You might go for a run and you think you burn 1,000, you burnt 300. None of that actually works. Then he quotes, how do you truly maximize your anabolic window? There is no freaking anabolic window after training. What that myth was dispelled. You just eat four to five meals a day spread throughout the day. You don't have to maximize a certain window. And I watched his food, his little freaking circle, and I wanted 10. Now, I don't mind being a circle, but I'm not eating a tiny little circle wrap and thinking that's filling. And there was no veggies on it. It was just three bites and done. So much starvation on that diet. I'm not following that. So yeah, buy the plan and feel like if you can stick to it and starve yourself, then yeah, you're gonna look great. But it's not a realistic plan. It's a 30 day quick, get it off fast, starve yourself before and after transformation. And then what happens? I don't see a reward for, let's see who kept the weight off a year later. There's no thousand dollar prize for the best kept body it's all before and after quick one month i want it now i have no patience i'm going to starve myself that's what people promote we all do it even me i'll show the before and after transformations that look the best real quick why because that's what gets attention and views people don't want to see oh that's a great transformation how long did it take one year 
oh, I thought it was three months. Why? Because you think every transformation, you have to starve yourself and take anabolics to get that change. It was a one year change. Respect the change, slow and steady. You ever seen that saying? Slow and steady wins the race. This applies here. It might win you $1,000 if you take something and do something for 30 days, but that's not the way to do it. It's not about a race of tea who can get the best build in 30 days. It's a gimmick, and I don't like these gimmicks. It's, mine, it's fine that they're doing it to sell the programs, and you got to do what you got to do to make a living. But look, I'm not here to promote people doing 30-day crazy transformations. Subscribe. Click the bell button if you haven't already. Got Nike running around here. That's enough of this guy. He's a fit guy. He's in super good shape. He used to be not natty. Now he's natty. He's doing his thing. He's awesome. But he's selling you programs because that's what you want. You want 30-day quick fixes. There is no quick fix. Long-term, you need long-term. This is a Band-Aid fix. You want a carb cycle? It's not breaking any laws of physics. There is no magic diet, okay? It's hard work. You need to be in a deficit to lose weight, surplus to gain weight. It's simple, okay? GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset, IFBB Pro. Follow me, check me out. Watch one of these other videos. And until next time, I am out. You get to choose which physical... You get to choose which... Which... You, you get to choose, <laughs> you get to choose which laws of physics you get to break.